Hi. Okay. So, um, I just, I just, what I've been seeing lately is, um, well, me being really observant about my mirrors, for one, um, but also seeing that, um, the value of, I guess we could say, what is the now moment? Now, most people say, I understand the now moment, and um, I live in the now moment. But they don't necessarily see that they have to include all the value of everything in that now moment, of what the ego is. Because um, you have those people that say, well, you should release the ego. But in a sense, that this whole de-ascension kind of thing, because yes, we, we know of ascension, but it's also called descension in a way of it being that you're, you're, you're attempting to incorporate your higher aspect, your soul, into a body, into a physical vessel. You're attempting to take something that's not physical into the physical, basically, in the most simplest understanding of what it could be. Um, but what I've been seeing um, is that whole value of everything in a in the in the sense of it of what it means to see the value in everything to see the beauty in everything to what is the per push of the urge of the highest embellishment of what it can be of what it can bring with it being life within the energy of itself that you're choosing to hold within yourself to not necessarily become that but to be able to understand what it means to have that as a lesson and within understanding what the undertaking of what that energy uh, of that lesson can be, you are able to grow to encompass that kind of expression. Um, there's this one person that I really do admire. He, 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 finds answers for himself, not for everybody else. He doesn't as attempt to assist anybody else but himself within that retrospect because he does have a family, so he does do the whole let's have a job and let's do this kind of thing, let me make the food, that, yes, but, you know, truthfulness, you're supposed to, if it doesn't resonate with you, you know, it's not really beneficial and the most preferable embellishment of what is your joy to keep on doing it. So, but what, what, what I'm attempting to say is that he finds the truth in something that is what he feels is most preferable truth. Not to say that it's not truth and not to say that it is truth, but to say that he finds the truth in it for himself. He finds what it is that brings him joy within what it means to have that of value. He finds the value of it, and then um, he places it through his viewpoint within his understanding of what he accepts, of his perception. Um, that basically he's creating his own world, which we all do, but he's doing it from the standpoint of what it is to find value within myself, to understand that value and to apply that value throughout. Um,
I've also been in the whole pinpointing of things kind of a way um, is what I've been saying at the base and what is centeredness to what is grounded. Um, but that's just another way of saying the val finding the value in everything and using it kind of a way. Um, that I also have been um, come to the conclusion, the idea that um, that per your perception doesn't change. I, I know I've said, what is your perception within that viewpoint, within that viewpoint of that perception, which semi can mean that your your viewpoint changes and your perception can change. And I'm not quite sure, but I know other people say that you're, but I feel that your perception doesn't change. It never, ever, ever changes. Your viewpoint within your perception can change, meaning that depending what your, what you feel your perception is. Let's say you feel that your perception is that of um, a human. Okay, within that perception of that human, you feel that it's more it's more preferable to have a job. So let's say your perception is. A farmer. Just to make it really, really simple. Your perception is a farmer. So through your perception of being a farmer, your viewpoint of a bug can be really impreferable because it can eat your crops or something like that. Um, but being that you're a farmer, your viewpoint, your perception is never going to change about that bug if you're still ever going to be doing that farming. And if you hold on and continue that expression throughout your lifetime when you're not being a farmer, like you're retired and you're just living in city, which um, when you see a bug, you're pretty much probably going to have the same feelings towards it, but which means that your perception really didn't change, but your viewpoint did because now you're viewing yourself as a retired farmer that lives in the city. Um, so as you can see, your standpoint of your perception never really ever changed, but your viewpoint did. Um, I, I also, I also have, um, So, within your viewpoint, you have your perception, which your viewpoint is aiding in your task of what it can be of um, your growth, what adds to your value, um, of your worth. For um, That's basically why you have a different viewpoint to your perception because in all in all this what not of your understanding of it all is of your part to the whole of your wholeness of what your part is that is your makeup of your part to that of the wholeness um that all kind of goes back to your choice of choosing what you want to that of what is your beauty. Um, on an energetic 
note. Um, there, like it was like two days ago or something like that. Um, that I started feeling other people's centers. And are really like just focusing on it, and um, and feeling their the power that's coming from their center. Like I was feeling from my center, because that's how you that's how you have to do it. You have to take it from within yourself, and so that it really goes back to the whole um, swimming in sand to swimming in water. Um, now. With you doing it, you can understand it. Um, so, with me understanding what my center is and my feeling of that center and how powerful it is, I was able to sense them, their center, and it was it was really intriguing. Just because I felt like I was able to be well, well, like more empowered by their center, like taking their energy, their power, and combining it to mine. Um, not to say that I was doing that, but to say that's what it, that's what it felt like I like I could do. Like I had the understanding that I could do it. Not saying I can't do it now, but to say that it felt like that. It was just <laughs> it was. It truly, truly was. Um And like grounding is very, very important. Um, because you have your balance and then you have your centeredness in your within that balance to being grounded within that centeredness. Now we could now we could say that grounding is really the most important part, but isn't that balance and that centeredness equal to that grounding? Um, but the reason why we you could say grounding is really important is because um, within that grounding you're able to stay strong within being centered of being able to stay balanced. Um, from my understanding, from what I'm getting from my understood, um, is that grounding is really what assists you to be focused and to hear because I'm also getting the understanding of what it what is is to be um to find importance into fully being here all the time like to focus always here to do to put in simpleness of it is you can be you're everywhere else 99% of the time in any other moment but you're here 1% of that moment so once you it, once you're here, you should really be here, because you're choosing to be here now. That's you're fully to embody yourself. If it's your choice to descend or ascend, to bring in your higher self within this vessel, to merge up into the higherness, to take all the value of what you see, your ego and everything, so that you have a strong basis. What is grounded to that centeredness of what is balanced. To be able to to draw what is your base of moving through the flow of being able to select the most preferable way of phrasing and creating what it is that is preferable, not just to yourself but to everybody else. Um,
that within you choosing to fully be here, it's, I'm also finding it very, very pleasant to do these, my meditations lately. I mean, I've already, I already felt that way, but it just, with all the, the higher energies and just my, the, the expandedness of it, it's really, really nice. It's, I can feel me actually taking in myself, my, my higher self embodying in that. And that's kind of what that means to descend is to embody your higher self. Um, or I like to call it self. self. Um, it's actually when I'm calling for assistance from my light team or whatnot. Um, is I don't call my higher self. Truly, I don't. I used to call... I used to... I would call self. Selfs. That's what I was going to say. I used to call selfs. Um, because I wouldn't be just referring to my higher ones, my higher aspects. I would be referring to my lower ones too. Because yes, I'm able to, I'm all that, the higher and the lower within this, with me, me, because I'm a multi-dimensional being. So I'm able to take that perspective. But the ones that truly, truly hold that space in the truest essence were the ones that understood it from getting to that point at that point of them doing it. Like how I, I personally understand now, I'm holding this space for what is valuable of an ego. To descend, to ascend, to present that and to have that be a base of all my other decisions. But having it be a base when I go to another expression of myself, I don't necessarily have to pick and go back to it. I already have it. That's what it means. It's another perspective of being ba being balanced, centered, and grounded. I know I've been I'm doing the same thing of base and balance, but it's pretty much the same thing. Well, in a way. But that's why it's really more preferable for you to fully be here to understand and express yourself through this. Um, that within those meditations that I've been doing, I've been, um, instead of just focus, focusing on nothing, I, I will post the other person that I was talking about earlier about his their viewpoint of just of how finding their truth and then this other person about saying about what's important about grounding and and his meditations because I've been doing those meditations too and it's seriously it's very beneficial it's so uplifting it's so amazing it's just literally it I was at a very neutral like point after I got done doing like two meditations of his like um, but yeah, I, um, this guy also talked about, which I've always really, really wanted, um, was that of a full chakra chart. Like to know all my chakras, which is really awesome. I just haven't gotten to it yet, um, but I will. Um, and I'll pr post it to my site, of his site. Um, but he talked about your nervous system chakra. It's like right behind here. And he was like, just focus on it and you will, world, oh, like just such a change. And truthfully, whoa. Like, it's really been a change. Like, not only have I been, that was before the whole other centeredness of their energies kind of thing. But, um, so in a way, it, it, the nervous system chakra allowed me to f feel that with, because it's within me, 
but it was with it's embodying that that aspect of what it is to have that aspect. But what I'm saying is, you're, it's really a sensory sen sensory of what it means to perceive the higherness within this this vessel. Um, and like, I also been feeling like. Circles um, from that, from the nervous system chakra and my heart chakra and just my crown chakra and just kind of everything, just moving all at once. And like also been feeling um, within me embodying myself or whatnot. Like after I kind of found out about that nervous system chakra, I felt like I was emulating like a step-by-step -step layered process out for myself um, of like I love I, I don't know if anybody's ever seen the ser the secret movie or the secret the book or whatever um, same thing but um, about the law of attraction kind of thing but I love how they how it just that that essence that like, expands from them I love that part it's like that's what that's basically what it feels like <laughs> I guess the easiest way to explain it is like you know how like you jump into water and you have that splash that comes up that's kind of what it kind of is um, but um, and also pulling in the the other ones and like expanding it and whatnot but, um, okay, so, um, I guess I, also, I can, I'll have, I have one more thing, um, when I'm going, like, and when I was, like, basically, I was talking to my higher selves, um, or my guides, or whatever, people, that I was talking to, um, that's kind of, that's kind of how it is, because, um, some people don't understand that, they don't understand what it, how it is to channel, um, it's really, I know it's off of your belief and your perception and whatnot, but, in truthfulness, because really I don't lie, like, honestly, I don't lie, like, I don't see any benefit of it, like, honestly, it's, like, I understand that, yeah, there could be a benefit, to me, what what is it called? Lying and then like a white lie and then not getting trouble for whatever. But really, it's when it comes down to it, you have to remember all those white lies and then make sure you stay in order. And it's just why, why? <laughs> but but basically, I always talk to my higher selves or my guides or whatever, my ascension team. Um, I, I guess also I want to, I want to say about how you view something or another viewpoint of how you view something of it being that you understand something and then you flip the page of it, you view it in a totally different way of everything else in a totally different way because you have that new understanding. Um, that's kind of why you can never ever experience something again through looking at it through the same way. You can experience something again, but you get, look at it, you can understand it from a different point. Even if you do the same thing like a YouTube video, you watch it again, you'll see something different within that same YouTube video. Um, kind of goes down by you already noticed it, so you're going to notice something different. Um, oh, that... Um, it's really convenient because they remind me what I'm going to say too. <laughs> that... With, we're in a new... We're in the new frequency. We're in the new Earth. It's already here. It's already happened. It just... It kind of breaks down to 
humanity and humans needing to perceive that. That's kind of the last thing. Um, in all truthness, basically how it's kind of going by. Um, but since we are in a higher frequency and a new dimension and new earth and stuff like that, not everything's the same. Nothing's the same. You can't go about something the same way. You have to go about it in a different way. Um, in a simpler way of understanding that, um, once you understand that getting enough sleep or sleeping and not staying up for three days, you're going to be able to focus a little bit easier when you do sleep three days instead of not sleeping at all for those three days. Or getting a nap when you're really tired and you can't go to bed like you stayed up all day and you, you took a nap because you have to go to work. You know you're going to feel a lot more better and focused when you took that nap instead of not. Um, but like I was saying, um, I guess in another another way of saying it too is when you learn to stretch before you work out, you feel a lot better. Um, it's like the same thing of brushing your teeth and then um, after you eat something or like after you're sweet or something like that. Because it <laughs> or getting enough water so you don't faint in the sun or something like that. Or covering up or okay. Okay. But basically what I'm saying is a whole bunch of examples. I'm just kidding. Um but that you can't view it from the same standpoint. It's just not gonna work out. You have to view it from a different standpoint. The easiest way to go about understanding that different standpoint of how to interact is well a couple of them is to find people that kind of understand it of what it means to be in a different one and have the understanding and to discern with what they say um, and so that if it resonates with you or not um, and another way, which is always the most preferable way of any anybody else saying anything, um, is from yourself to meditate, to understand it, to to feel it. I guess also people don't quite understand. Well, if I meditate, how do I know the answer? How do, it's yeah, I'm meditating, but how do I know the answer? Um, well. It also comes down, the way that works is um, you meditate and it's like you get a sense of clarity. You get, you're able to balance, to center, to ground yourself so that you have that base. What I also mean by this base and balance is the same thing is because you have a base. You're always going to have that base. You know how like an airplane does it, where they have that line to match the ground, and then they also have the line to match how they're facing the ground? That's kind of what that means about the same thing. You have that base. It's always going to be like this. It's always going to be horizontal. And then your balance can go vertical. Um, so that's what it means to have be balanced with on your... with within that base so that you have a clear centered grounded approach um, that that um, when you meditate you can focus on nothing because that's always a beneficial way too because there's other beings that are really skilled in assisting you when you say nothing but you want something they're they assist you in opening and guiding you to the next step so that you can focus on the what is the next thing that you want to do um, but you can also focus on what not what you want to do at that moment but um, when you meditate you're able to have that clarity 
Um, so you're also raising your vibration. So the easiest way of understanding that and applying that or whatnot is you're you you like something and now you really don't like it, or it's preferable and now it's unpreferable. Um, kind of thing like you just that's that's the that's really the easiest way to explain what it means to go within and get an answer. Um, also, another perspective of it, when you get really, really high, when you get to a certain point in your, in your frequency, your vibrating, vibration, and you're opened enough that when you meditate, you it's like another way of channeling or another a centralized way of communicating straight to the point in fully focused balanced, centered, grounded way of um, communication. Because yes, you can talk to your higher self, your guides, channeling, but when you meditate, you're just kind of, you block out everything and um, yeah. I also, I, <laughs> um, I also learned about something recently too. I will post this one too on there in the descriptions, which I hope that the people that are looking at my videos, I hope that you guys are kind of appreciating because I like, I think it's really cool that um, I'm putting like the music and those pictures and um, just kind of how I'm doing the description thing because um, that's all me right there. I love doing organizational things like that. I just, I've also figured out that you can be too organized and just sometimes it's easier to go simple or oh it's always easy and more beneficial and preferable to do something simple and then it's all and then you can have the balance of what it is to have it overdone which in that sense that is a simple for that kind of thing um, but what I was saying is it's, they're called mantras, moon, 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 mantras, not mantras, mantras, mantras. Um, I guess because it's supposed to assist you with your mood. Um, this one, which is, it's supposed to assist you when you're feeling um, like compressed and there's a lot of like your energies that are coming or not your not your energies are coming but like other energies are just kind of pressing on you you, you just go like this because this because you got you you got your intent water fire you got your air fire water earth so we go again Intent, air, fire, water, earth. Because it would break down to your intent, what you're focusing on, the air, kind of like the first element that comes into it, fire, which is like rebirth from those ashes, like a phoenix, and water, reshaping what you have been reborn into and understanding that shape and earth the solidify solidification of that um this is supposed to you're able to with these your middle ones your fire and your water you're able to have the bubble your royal field, your aura, your bubble, personal space, able to hold its ground and able to push out and whatnot. You're able to focus on that a little bit easier. Um, and so you're, you jack it into your heart center and um, you're getting it from your higher, the higher realms and then you're grounding it. So whenever you want to like focus on something a little bit easier, understand something a little bit more, you're able to do like that. Um, and then you have this one, which I don't, I'm pretty 
maybe there's more, maybe there's not, I don't, I'm not quite sure, I only, this person only talked about these two, so, um, I'm just going to talk about what I've kind of learned, which is basically, in a way, is me to understand what I understand, is the undertaking of what I understand within what it means to have me understand that. Or another way of saying it, the higher realms, me interpreting it on for this understanding of what it is to understand as a human. That's kind of what my website represents. Um, so if you ever go to my website and you see that I talk like this in one area and then I talk like another way in another area, it's, it's all me doing it, but it's just a different part, understanding and expansion and deepening in one area. Um, because it is only me, and it really is only me focusing on what my thoughts are, to what my to understanding them is, that I don't necessarily go back and change everything. There, are, there could be those moments when I do it, but really I only do it when I focus on, okay, now let me, ex let me do this, and then let me expand in this, and okay. Because if it kind of correlates to each other, it means it's kind of basically all the same thing and whatnot. But this is, I can't really recall what he says at this moment, but it's basically you're really focusing your bubble and what you understand, I would say. Because all of that, to move through the understanding, to get the understanding flowing and whatnot, this is to focus on that. Um, I pretty much that's all I gotta say right now. Um, you're you are beautiful. I remember how I wanted to start off this video because I've been wanting to do this video for a while or a couple days. You are the treasure of this world. You are the rarest object on this planet, in this universe, in the multiverse, in the ultraverse, in all creation, you are the rarest of the rare. You are the only one that you are. There will never, ever, ever, ever be another such as you. For you are the treasure of this planet. You are the beautiful within the beauty. Your gifts are irreplaceable and your talents are unreplicated unre in truthfulness. You are just... the embellishment of what it is to be beauty. You are the link from what it is to being to is. Truly, I see it, but do other people see it? Let me go back to, okay. It doesn't matter what you've done what matters is what you choose to do from here. And what I put from in that post um, was it was kind of it's kind of a quote from being a perks perks of being a wallflower, which is an excellent movie, truly worth more being priceless than a penny, any expense. For within a penny, any monetary money amount, it is expensive. Even half a cent is expensive. I know we don't do half cents, but um, um, but the quote is. You can't 
always assist yourself in how you get to the place that you are, but you can always choose what is your next step from there. So truly, Also, within having the value of the now moment and not rejecting, not giving away, but finding the value and having your ego by your side, it also means that you don't reject your past, that you don't just fully focus on now because your past makes your the now moment and the now moment makes a future. So you have to, you have to really focus on all of it. It's very, very simple once you understand that everything's valuable and... What can you learn from that value of that? But probably the most important thing out of anything, out of anything, because you're the one that has to view it from you. No one else can. And you are the one that brings those skills to the around that you really should, and I know I usually say as a proper way, that you really should find your beauty, your worth. Because no matter what you do, considering you are on a free world planet, you might have came here wanting to do something, wanting to do something before you came here, but you can decide not to do that if you don't want to. But it's most beneficial to find your beauty, to find your self-worth, your worth your way not my way not anybody else's way because it in truthfulness it's like i said before because i'm pretty sure i said that i didn't think that <laughs> it's like i said before i did say that before about the energies and how they have value and you're the, assisting you to hold your space hold that understanding so that you can grow and to be able to express it yourself. That's basically what it is. Because you have to learn it yourself. You have to do it yourself. No one else can. It's the only way to doing it. But I'm going to let, I'm going to go. But you truly are so beautiful. So beautiful. Yes, on the outside and the inside. You're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Um, I, I don't particularly think it's preferable, but I understand the humor in it because you're supposed to have humor and everything because it assists to look at the more joyful side of it. But there's this quote that says, yes, I'm short, but God makes things grow at their until they're perfect and some don't take as long to be perfect <laughs> or you may be on this journey of what you're on but you are so beautiful okay find that beauty Hug yourself and love yourself. Because truly, y you are the one that has to see yourself and go live through yourself. No one else can. So you might as well do it more beautifully and loving towards yourself and everybody else. But yeah. <laughs>